I am very happy and honored to welcome my next guest to set, and it is Ben Von Art. How are you? Super. How are you? Good. Thanks for having me. I love your work. It's infused with happiness. Thank you. And that's Appreciate how we that. met. You've been doing artwork that makes people feel good. Correct. How did you stumble upon that? Well, I spent my career in marketing and branding, and <clears throat> our mission there is usually to engage people, to sell products and services. And after my last stint, uh, as head of marketing and creative at a mobile media company, I decided to create my own brand with the purpose of making people smile. And you've done a great job well, at it. Well, thank you so much. Man, your, your career as an, as an artist is just skyrocketing. You know, yeah. you, just recently you were in New York City. Can we talk about that? Sure. Okay, tell us about that new installation. Uh, well, the folks at Apple iStore were kind enough to exhibit my work, um, and that'll be up through October. Um, and the theme of the show is I Love New York. And I created a few pieces for that. Um, and uh, it's a real opportunity. I think we'll be having a reception mid-September. So look for your invitation. Oh, thank you so much. I can't wait. Tools of the trade. Go ahead. Uh, certain paints that you're using, certain brushes, certain things that you find, objects. Because I see sometimes a circle motif in your work and uh, pattern, line, texture. How does this all come about? What do you start with first? Well, it's funny, um, nothing ever really turns out like I start uh, or I conceive it to be, and I, I really haven't used a paintbrush in 10 years. I, okay. I use all kinds of different, you know, whatever's around and apply the paint, and what happens seems to happen. It sort of grows. It's an organic experience uh, and a lot of fun. When did you realize that you had a signature style? Who first noticed it, that um, you weren't, like, just emulating some other artist, but that you yourself had a look? Yeah, I think it has to do a lot with uh, the color palette that I use and the technique of applying it. And um, it's always growing and evolving, and there is no real... There does seem to be a fun, uplifting, positive attitude towards it. And um, I think, first of all, that's for me. And if I really... I mean, sometimes I create something or start painting and when I'm done with it I, I can't believe I don't, I don't know how I did it <laughs> um, like you were just a conduit almost for yeah, the energy yeah it's just sort of a experience that happens and you know I um, can start painting and five or six hours can go by it seems like two seconds hmm. so um, it's really a labor of love after and directing, I think that's projected in the work. It absolutely is. Yeah. After directing, um, working at big ad agencies, I mean, like number, top, top agencies, directing a lot of other artists, where do you find your own personal inspiration from? Because you don't really have somebody that's telling you, Ben, paint this, Ben, paint that. It's something right. on your own. So, um, you know the old saying, if you do what you love, you never have to go to work? Uh, well, I've sort of embraced that concept full-fledged, and uh, um, it's just uh, you wake up in the morning, and, you know, it's a clean canvas, and you create something that's going to make somebody happy or smile, or I get, you know, people that purchase my art, which is just so thrilling in itself, uh, not believable. Um, uh, you know, keep in contact with me and refer me to friends and... Uh, it's just a it's just a fulfilling and gratifying experience when the process is going through you go ahead what are you intuiting how are you becoming like one with that canvas for yourself right do you well, like it rock is, it, is a, it is an interactive uh, <laughs> it is an interactive uh, process um, you know, one thing leads to another because, uh, as I said, I start and I might just throw some paint on a canvas and then take a look at it and say, well, that looks, maybe I'll do this and then I'll do that. And it just sort of takes a life of its own. And um, at the end, hopefully, it looks like something that has some continuity to it and is a composition that, um, you know, from a design standpoint and a color standpoint works. What is the piece that you did as a grade school student that you still have uh, in your home today? Oh, it's so funny. You, my sister, uh, who lives in Denver, just sent me this big package of, okay. uh, uh, like, 
drawings and crayon and, you know, projects from school when I was in, you know, elementary school. And, you know, I can remember each one of them as I look at them. You know, they're awful. But, uh, <laughs> They're not awful. Well, you I know, expect you to frame at least three of them. Oh, please. Deal? I'm going to send them to you. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> but, but so early on, you did have a talent that was nurtured by, a, you know, maybe a, an art teacher at your school or something like that. I've always been involved in creative things and, uh, as I mentioned, in, you know, design and marketing, but um, never a trained artist. I just sort of do what makes me feel good and, you know, hope that it, 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 it connects. Collectors, you know, the art world sometimes can be so stuffy, yeah. right? And la oh, la ti da right? How did you break through that stuffiness? I'm not because, quite sure I have. No, you have, <laughs> you absolutely have, because you're so cute. Um, because people are collecting your pieces, you yeah. know, they're, they're- Yeah, I have people that have my stuff up all over their house or office. Um, yeah, it's, you know, it's just, I go to these shows and I see people coming down the street with their children and the children take off and I can tell they're just running to my artwork and they just wow. like light up and they make their parents buy it, which is incredible. <laughs> Becoming family heirlooms. Yes, well, yes. I am the proud recipient. I have some of your work. I collect artwork, um, which is rare for me because I also am an artist. And so it, I just have to tell you that like, when I walk into my home or now when I walk into the set, because you are a resident artist, that I do feel this connection um, and it, a vibrancy. And it actually, I feel like, helps me do my job better. So I think in any corporate office or anybody even in your home, um, what you're trying to convey is actually working. Well, so thank you so much. You're I welcome. Thank you for that vibrancy. Because it just yeah. For me, the you perspective up. that's kind of different is, you know, I have a lot of moms that will purchase my art and put it in their kids' room, and that young person is gonna grow up looking at my artwork, and it's just such a sort of refreshing and meaningful sort of thing for me to touch their lives like that. It's really a different perspective. Every day doing at least some little doodle or something? I get up around five and I paint all day long. Beautiful. Every day. Yeah. Except when you're hanging out with me. And, but <laughs> well, this is <laughs> more of a pleasure. <laughs> we thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. Boy, oh boy. Ben Bon Art, ladies and gentlemen, please get a chance, look at his fantastic work, go to one of his live shows. I promise you that you'll be entertained and you'll be nourished. Thanks for watching, live it up.